Guys, we're back with the tree in the loft. We're doing a vintage tree for you for that reminiscing look. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Check it out right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks, folks, for coming by. We got a new vintage tree we're doing in the loft. Finishing up the loft, it's the smallest room, the family room, probably in the house, takes the longest. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense with the village going on, it seems. So right here, we got the multicolored lights that we're all used to growing up with. And for that vintage look, then I'm putting on a string of it's another computer string, but it's just gonna stay, I'm gonna keep it just to stay green. And these are the C7 size. So next we're gonna put the tinsel on. The tinsel garland, <laughs> that is. I'm gonna go with a traditional silver. And again, you know, I'm just using this as a space filler down in those spaces. Tuck that in pretty deep. Again, it doesn't stay out on the tips. I don't want it out on the tips like a circus act. And that's why a lot of people don't like it. It's really dated, even though this is our vintage tree. I'm still not going there. <laughs> What's next for our traditional vintage tree? Well, I've got two ribbon picked out. This plaid, you probably knew that was coming. <laughs> Some of you. Just wonderful. And this cute red, green, white, on almost a neutral ribbon. Just love this too. And we're gonna use both of these. So folks, we're gonna use real vintage ornaments and we're gonna use some modern ones that are made to look vintage. So, we're going to be fussy about the colors that we put on and the way they look. Like a bright satin shiny, either one. Red is not going to be right. But this old fashioned candy apple red is going to be perfect. Okay. You guys saw this maybe in a haul. Vintage look from Wally's. These are perfect. So there's two packs of these. We'll get them on. And I got the box of real. Don't get teary eyed on this one. The teeny tiny little teapot with the handle and spout that's still intact and not broken from the 50s. This bird is older than I am. You can call me an old bird, but this is really an old bird from the 50s. It just makes it that much cuter to me. That much more special. Who doesn't remember these bells from that era? Oh man. This is some of my favorite stuff when it comes to vintage ornaments. Just that look, there's no mistaking that look. And some of the new shiny brights are following this look right on and, and it's fantastic. Here's another vintage look be a good 
cap filler for the bottom. Alrighty, we're gonna get this caught up. Let's before we do that and let you go, we'll remind you of a couple of these that we just got this year. They have a real vintage or homemade look even. Okay guys, now we're gonna go down memory lane with the vintage tree in the loft for Christmas. <laughs> Here's the finished Ferris wheel with all the characters, Santa's boot, all the characters to get a ride I had to borrow Angela's Elf this year. She's not using them. wonderful carousel horse makeover we got Theodore A. Bear riding him this year we have some other older vintage village pieces that put on the desk the Deer family waiting for Christmas morning. It's okay fella, sometimes I get it. I like to be by myself too. This is a fir tree, frosted tree. Last year was the first year we used it. And we're gonna link those trees in our description box for you. Now a lot of you can remember, we had the C7 lights. Those are the pulsing ones. The bigger ones were C9s and they went outside. In those great colors. Then I have another string of just the green. I like those just on, but I like the colors just pulsing. Now here's a story. This snow blanket for this year is a real wool blanket that I got over in Scotland personally and it came home on my submarine I was serving on. So it is special. 100% Scottish wool. 
Irreplaceable, beautiful. Thought it'd be cute. Angela come up with it. I asked her for a skirt for the tree. And with our Scottish ribbon, a plaid, and the colors for this vintage tree, we thought it was perfect. I showed this ornament last year. It's the oldest one. It's older than me. Oh man, now you know it's old, right? <laughs> it's so sweet. It's in family film footage from before I was born on a tree and when I was born. So it's, it's just amazing to me. You do not have a vintage tree unless you have a spaceship. Okay. And a laser gun. <laughs> From the Buck Rogers days. And those shows were reruns for us. You know that. Still good. So a lot of these ornaments are true vintage from the 50s and 60s. Might be some 70s feathered in. It's always a little tough to show the trees at night with the lights on. And there's a different toughness to it in the daytime with too much sunlight coming through the window. So it's a constant battle. We get the Rio Grande train for this tree. Coal car and the open car is full of gifts. Where you gonna go, guys? Now there's our hound's tooth stacking. <laughs> and all the characters are lined up waiting for Santa. Another Christmas train full of bears. <laughs> Boxes of snowmen and gifts. And they have little trees. This is the smallest tree that I include in, when I say 12 trees, the littler ones I don't count. This one I count. It even has the pickle. <laughs> Too good. A German tradition, you hang the pickle the parents hide it at night, and the kids find it in the morning. Whoever finds it gets an extra present. Here's our 
here's another arrangement. Pine, poinsettia, and gladiola. What a combo, guys. Check it out. We've always had the snowmen for the kids in the loft, so there's pillows and things to go with them. And man, I'm telling you, it could be everything. So guys, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over. You know we appreciate you. Take care everybody, more to come. We've got the videos for Christmas right here on my take on Home and Garden. Be good. We'll meet you for that sleigh ride real soon. See you in the next over the top incredible decorator Christmas video.